is a blue. Welcome to Gainesville and the University of Florida. I'm your host and professor, Tara Sable Atwood. In the next few minutes, we're going to be talking all about environmental health. But first, we hit the streets to see what you think environmental health is all about. I think environmental health is uh, the way that people act and react to their environment, um, interact with it, obviously. Um, I guess natural and man-made factors that affect the environment and us as a result. I feel like it has something to do with thinking of the entire globe and all the people in it and then thinking of the health of them. Well, those are some pretty good answers. But the true, most basic definition of environmental health is the interaction of people with their environment. It's concerned with understanding the impacts that we have on the environment and of the environment on us. A primary goal of environmental health is to understand the relationship between exposures and health effects. This includes the health of people, other species, and ecosystems. But defining the sources of exposure is not easy. As a society, we are concerned with pesticides and foods, pharmaceuticals and water sources, airborne pollution, and the spread of disease. These exposures can happen in nature, at the workplace, and even inside our own homes. Environmental problems can have both local and global implications and affect people who live in both developed and less developed countries. Understanding environmental factors that cause health problems and minimizing their exposure to populations and ecosystems is a challenging task. Environments are complex systems which lead to complex problems. Typically, we must address the combined impact of factors such as toxins, viruses, bacteria, diet, exercise, occupation, and genetics on a number of different outcomes. This is achieved through integration of data from disciplines such as toxicology, epidemiology, risk assessment and management, and involves people from scientists to policymakers. We need to keep pace with our changing environment, which creates emerging and controversial issues where risk, public policy, and economics are hotly debated. Advances in technology, such as the sequencing of genomes, help us to better understand environmental health issues and consequences. We're all connected to the world around us. Our actions affect the environment, and in turn, the environment affects us. Thanks for watching, and now our journey begins into the realm of environmental health.